Oh shoot, it looks like I have a meeting later today. Looks like this one is pretty important. I should probably look into Donald's mess soon. Gonna be hard to play with him if he gets locked up. Not really sure how I'm gonna pull that one off and no way Kamala is gonna let me do it without putting up a fight. Gosh, it sure was easier being the VP. I wish I knew how the others handled this job so well. Oh yeah, this is looking good. Picasso, you ain't got nothing on old Georgie. Wow, this is truly a masterpiece. I gotta send a pic of this to Barack. He's gonna love it. Oh great, I made a mess of paint on the floor. Well, at least it'll be easier to clean up than the mess I made in the Middle East. Glad I don't have to worry about being president anymore. Can't believe Joe is in charge of this country. You know, Barack, I really appreciate you taking time out of your busy day to come for a walk with me. Well, you know, since I'm not bothered with presidential duties anymore, I can spare some time for my lovely wife. It's nice to get out and touch grass sometimes, don't you think? Touch grass? If I didn't know better, I'd say it sounds like you're taking a dig at me. Only a little bit. In my defense, you guys do spend most of your time cooped up inside gaming, so it's not like I'm just making this up. All right, all right. Why don't we change the subject? Mm. One sec, Michelle. Someone just texted me. <laughs> Check out this silly painting George did of me. That is pretty good. Really captures your charming smile. I'm so glad George has found other hobbies to keep himself occupied instead of just gaming. Right. Life can be pretty confusing after having one of the most important jobs on the planet being the president. That's true. Sure hope Joe is handling it okay. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I think we have debated it long enough. It's time to decide on whether or not we should introduce mandatory nap time to the working class of America. Settle down, settle down. I know it's a controversial idea, but trust me, both worker morale and profits will be through the roof with rejuvenated employees. Joe, quit derailing this meeting. We're supposed to be talking about women's rights. Exactly. Women should have the right to nap time as well. You know that's not what I mean. Remember what we talked about before this. No more ice cream until we get Roe v. Wade reinstated. Oh, come on, Kamala. That's not fair. Mr. President, I'm just receiving word that Mr. Trump is online, sir. Oh, boy. Well, that's my cue. Sorry, Kamala, but I gotta go. Of course, those damn video games. Always shirking his presidential duties, which I honestly don't mind. But everyone gives him all the praise for the country I'm helping him run. You know, sometimes I just wish I was president instead. Oh, finally you get on. Dude, what took you so long? Sorry, Donnie. I was in a meeting with Kamala, and guess what? What? She said she's not going to let me have any more ice cream until I... Until I... I don't remember what she wanted me to do. Bro, you are the president. Who cares if she says you can't have any ice cream? Just have some anyway. Who's going to stop you? You're totally right. I'm going to go get some right no, now. No, no, no. Not right now. Barry and George are about to get on. Hey, guys. Did you see my painting I put in the group chat? The one of Barack? Oh, yeah, that thing was a masterpiece. Speak of the devil, here he is. What, were you guys just talking about me? Donald just finished calling my painting of you a masterpiece. It's true. Not gonna lie, it's pretty hilarious. I showed Michelle and she loved it. That's awesome. I'll bring it over next time we hang out. It's all yours. George, can you do one of me but make me super muscular and sexy? Ew, gross, no. Can we just hop on zombies now? Yeah, maybe if Joe would hurry up and join the lobby. I'm joining. Just stop spam inviting me. Okay, he's in. Start it up, Donald. Hold on, just got a reset for Dempsey here. Dude, seriously, do you need to be Dempsey that badly? Yes, actually I do. Oh crap, I got Nikolai. One sec. Uh, why do we always let this guy host? Because the Trump Tower Wi-Fi is so clearly superior to your shitternet. Okay, I'm Dempsey. Let's go. This game is so bugged. You're not even Dempsey on my screen. Barack is. Yeah, yeah. We went over this when we played Blood. It's screwed up. That's just par for the course on Black Ops 4. All right, game starting. Everyone look alive. Joe, uh, you can skip this step. Oh, God, speaking of steps, I just remembered what the Easter egg is on this map. What is it? I hope it has a really cool boss battle like Blood of the Dead did. Well, not exactly. The uh, Easter egg, if you can even call it that, is just straight up. Get to round 150 and the cutscene will trigger. Seriously, they were not cooking with this one. So wait, you're telling me the Easter egg is just high rounds? That's amazing. It's like a dream come true. Yeah, more like a nightmare. I wonder if George Washington would have been one of the Zomboys. Man, forget Washington. There's only room enough for one George in this group, and it's George Bushington. I don't know if any of these geezers could game with us. I mean, Abe Lincoln had, like, zero game sense. Tell me how you didn't hear a dude directly behind you. You really think I want that guy holding the last zombie? Now that's just straight up disrespectful. Can you open this door, George? Yeah, I got you. Thanks, buddy. You're a good friend. Maybe I'll go easy on the 9-11 jokes today. How, uh... 
kind of you. You know what you should do? Spam interact on that door. I bet something cool will happen. Ooh, okay. I bet it's like a little mini Easter egg. Damn, I just realized I forgot to pop Perkaholic. Gonna need it if we're gonna hit round 150. Are we really gonna go for that? Of course we are. And you already fulfilled your Michelle quota for the day. So don't even try to weasel your way out of this. Guys, I'm still interacting with this door, but nothing's happening. Just some guy telling me to leave him alone. Am I doing this right? Yep, just keep interacting with the door, Joe. Trust me. Okay, Sleepy George, wait, what the... I just accidentally drank a potion and now I have a shield. Hey, you don't get to call me Sleepy George anymore. Yeah, the blood of the dead carry redeemed him. Also, I just found one of the parts for the PAP teleporter. Bet, man, the Pentagon has really seen better days. That is true, better days not including September 11th. Yeah, okay, Joe. And whatever happened to you saying you'd go easy on the 9-11 jokes? I said I'd go easy on them. Not that I wouldn't make them at all. Big difference, pal. Yeah, well, I'd appreciate if you didn't make any jokes about it. Thanks. Sorry, man. I take every opportunity I can get. Just like he takes every opportunity to sniff children. Can you chill out? It feels like I'm listening to kids fight. Children, kids, what's happening? What am I missing out on? Oh, hell no. What are you talking about, Obama? I'm literally right. You're enabling him. Just stop it. Oh, what the? What the heck is that thing over there? Oh, no. What is this? Joe, it's called a fart zombies. Eh. No, Joe, they're called Nova crawlers. Die, fart zombie. Die. Oh, hey, what's this? Fart money? Joe, what on earth are you talking about? Joe, they are not called fart zombies. Well, they look like fart zombies to me, and they smell like it, too. Can't say that's far from the truth, to be honest. All right, boys, hop in the elevator. Or are you going to keep arguing about farts? I'm coming. Guys, wait for me. Press the button quick. Nope, Speedy Joe is too quick. Were you really going to leave me behind? Uh, no, I was just joking, and that's why I didn't do it. It totally wasn't because George blocked me. Oh, darn. Sorry, Donald. I'm sure that would have been hilarious. Why do you guys just want reasons to laugh at me? What do you think I am, a clown? Yes. Yep. Yeah, I'm pretty sure everyone sees you as a clown, Joe. You should see yourself during your speeches. What are you talking about? I look no different than I do normally, and I definitely do not look like a clown. That's not what I... Oh, never mind. Forget it. I'm going to pop an immolation so everybody get to a box location. All right, I dibs this spot. Dang, then I guess we got to take the elevator up, George. One of you guys pop temporal gift if you have it so that we get more time to hit the box. All right, I'm popping it. We're about to get to our box location, so I'll tell you when to use immolation. Yeah, yeah, take your sweet time. All right, you can hit it now. Using immolation, good luck, boys. I got the AN-94. Definitely one of the best guns in BO2, and it's not half bad in BO4. I got the Zweihander. This thing goes hard. Ray Gun Mark II, let's go, baby. Nice one, Donnie. Oh, hey, I got the Winter's Howl. Not gonna lie, that gun sucks. Facts, I mean, they could have made it a little better in BO4, but it sucks just like it did in BO1. Hey, man, don't disrespect BO1 like that. It's a great game. I'm not disrespecting BO1. I'm disrespecting the Winter's Howl because it's just an underwhelming wonder weapon. Guys, I'm drinking the fire sale potion. Joe, it's an elixir, and it's called immolation liquidation. Immo liquid. Huh? Forget that. How does someone like Joe have these elixirs while I don't? Sounds like a skill issue to me, buddy. Do you not have any nebulium plasma or what, Barack? No, because I don't grind this game. I enjoy the more challenging games, like World at War. Speaking of World at War, are we gonna have to end up playing that game? It's too scary! What? How are you scared of World at War, but not this game, which has way creepier graphics? I don't know, man. Ever since I put on cartoon mode, I just can't take this game seriously. Oh, so are we just gonna ignore when Joe was screaming about the Nova? I mean, the fart zombies? What the? Okay, I guess I have the ray gun and the ray gun Mark II now. Dang, Donnie, that's pretty good box luck. Yeah, I don't care. I'm trading the ray gun. That thing sucks in this game. Hey, man, it's still a lucky hit, so be glad you got it. Oh, hey, ray gun. Yeah, you're welcome, buddy. That's my ray gun that I just put back into the box. I don't think that's how it works, but thank you, Donnie. Man, some of these documents on the floor look really cool. Maybe I should take some home for myself. We can hear you, Donald. Didn't you already get in trouble because of that? Huh? What are you talking about? I'm just saying they look cool and I'd want to go through them. It was a hypothetical situation. Yeah, right. Anyways, aren't we supposed to go down this elevator or something? Right behind you, Joe. Let's go, boys. This elevator's gonna take us to see the things we're not allowed to talk about. Hey, this floor reminds me of the PAP hallway from transit. All right, the power's on. Wow, you can really see the power coming inside of these wires. Did you really have to say it like that? I mean, really? What do you mean? What are you talking about? Oh, okay, that's not funny. All right, I'm opening the room with the little piggies in it. All right, guys, I just picked up the second PAP part. Found the last shield part, guys. Let's build it once we get back upstairs. Man, how did Treyarch know what to put down here? Who did they have ties with? Uh, I don't think it is the same, Joe. Shouldn't you know this? No, why would I know? Because you're the president? Have you never been down here? Heck no, man. I hate the basement. It's always the scariest. Geez, maybe Joe's right. This thing is creepy. I just killed the pig in that room. What? No, you killed the little piggy Donald, you monster. Oh, great. Well, it looks like we're playing on hard mode now. Are you kidding me? No, I don't want to play on hard mode. No, it won't actually make the game any harder. That's just what people used to say on five back in the day. But still, why would you kill the pig, Donnie? Trust me, I put that thing out of its misery. 
I've seen the tests they do down here. Oh, I guess I can build the shield here. Hey, Barack, you non-shield noobs need this? Yes, Joe, we're all gonna need the shield, duh. Well, I've already got one, but if it helps you poor fellers out, I guess I'll pitch in. Yeah, well, not all of us have the shield elixir. Oh, I've got the shield elixir. I've got like a billion of them. I just don't have it equipped. Dang, you guys just seem jealous, honestly. Why on earth would I be jealous? I'm the richest man in this call. I've got the most elixirs out of all of you. Weird flex, but okay. Who cares about elixirs when I basically control the entire country's money? Wow, congrats. You've got all the money of a country that is in serious debt. And what are you doing with this money anyways? Giving it to other countries instead of helping your own? Okay, okay, chill guys. I was just trying to make a point. A stupid point. That didn't end up going in your favor. And all it did was end up making you look like a loser. I think Donald is entering his Joker arc. Yeah, maybe relax on the whole no more Mr. Nice Guy vibe, Donald. Sorry you libtards can't handle the straight facts I'm spitting. Enjoy the first floor by yourselves, idiots. Yeah, whatever. Teleporting is cooler anyways. I'm surprised the elevator doesn't go into a free fall the moment you enter. Knowing your experience with stairs, I'm surprised you're not more of an elevator fan. Yeah, anyways, I am certainly a fan of Dying Wish. What do you all think of the perk? I don't know, man. I'm more of a fan of this wall hack soda. Wall hack soda? Are you, are you talking about death perception? Yeah, because it's like wall hacks. Now I can see where the zombies are coming from before I quickscope them. Quickscope? Joe, tell me you're not using a sniper. Wait, Joe is using a sniper? Perfect, keep it, and make sure you bring it to the Pack-a-Punch. There's a special Easter egg. It better not be more fart zombies. I can assure you it has nothing to do with fart zombies. Now let's flip these DEF CON switches so we can grab the last part for PAP. Sorry, Donnie, I'm too busy quickscoping the shit out of these zombies. I wonder if they'll let me join FaZe. Yeah, but they'll let basically anyone in FaZe nowadays. I'm pretty sure fucking Snoop Dogg was in FaZe at one point. Hold on, Snoop Dogg is an actual gamer, though. That's not nearly as bad as the girl from Stranger Things. Yeah, we... We don't talk about that. I just shudder at the thought. Valorant. Oh God, please don't say another word. You're gonna make me throw up like when you streamed Starfield. No, no throwing up in the Discord, gross. Got the last PAP part. Nice, now we just need to save up some points and then we can upgrade all our guns. Building the PAP teleporter. It's pretty cool that Treyarch put the PAP machine in Groom Lake as an homage to Moon. Although the nostalgia was laid on hella thick the entire game. For all its flaws, I can at least say I'm glad about one thing. It's not Vanguard zombies. You better watch what you say. Wouldn't want to rile up any Vanguard fans. Vanguard fans? You mean lobotomy victims? Seriously, that shit is so bad. Yeah, and one of these days we're gonna have to play it. For better or for worse. Oh, it'll be for worse. I can tell you that for sure. Yeah, I think when that day comes, I might accidentally drop my PC out the window. I think that's a little excessive, but I get your point. Do you, Barack? Do you get it? Have I gotten across how desperately I don't want to play that steaming pile of dog shit with zombies stamped on it? I mean, they put Raul Menendez from the BO2 campaign in that game for fuck's sake, a World War II game with a guy from 2025. I'm pretty sure they put some laser gun from Advanced Warfare in that game too. I mean, they've been adding goofy shit to COD for a lot longer than Vanguard, but yeah, they were seriously off that wacky tobacco that year. I just can't believe they straight up put Shino Numa in that game. Absolutely unforgivable. Now let's all get to PAP. Guess I didn't really need to save up points. I'm just popping a shopping free so I can fully upgrade my guns. Yeah, that's great and all, but can you quit hogging the damn Pack-a-Punch for a sec and give me a turn? I'm trying to figure out where Donnie hid this Easter egg. One sec, Joe. Sorry, Barack. Not my fault. Treyarch made it so you have to pap your gun like six times to fully upgrade it. I just wish this area wasn't so cramped. In Moon, you actually had a decent area to run around in. Okay, Joe, so to trigger the best Easter egg ever, you need to scope in with the sniper and look at one of these lights. All right, Donnie, but if this is more fart zombies, I'm gonna be mad at you. Joe, relax. What are you screaming about? Eee, Donnie just scared me so bad I unplugged my mouse. That was horrifying. What on earth was that? It looked like Richtofen, but it was so ugly. Yep, it's from last gen BO3. For some reason, they put Black Ops 3 on the 360 and the PS3, and God, was it rough. Now that you bring it up, I think I'd rather play last gen BO3 than play Vanguard Zombies. Absolutely not. No friggin' way am I playing last gen BO3. That disfigured mess is not entering my 360. I refuse. Just saying, might be kind of fun to revisit Shadows. Maybe Joe can finally finish their Eisendrack. Yeah, I'm sorry, George, but you are off your rocker. If we were gonna replay BO3, we might as well just do it on the good version, not the version for masochists. You say that like I like the game? I just meant we could play it because it's bad. Now let's hurry up and get out of here. Oh man, I just realized the BO4 Perkaholic screwed me over again. I don't have Mule Kick. I might have to down myself so I can get mule kick. I for sure want three guns if we're gonna try and do high rounds. Wow, caring more about the high rounds than your stats? I'm so happy. Donnie, you're making me feel all warm inside. Might wanna check your pants, Joseph. I don't think it's me doing that. Nasty.
Anyways, Donald, if you want to down yourself, I got you. This had better be worth it. If I pop another perka and don't get mule kick, I'm alt f 4 Don't be like that, Donald. You don't have to threaten alt f 4 every time we play. Last time was warranted. Joe robbed me of my hard-earned blundergat. Okay, good I got mule kick, but damn it, I don't have time slip now. Hitting the box and papping is gonna be like watching Slow Joe walk off the podium. Hey, that sandbag had it coming. That boy wouldn't hush up. All right, so what are we doing now? Should we find a nice camping spot? Or does anyone want to do the Project Scotty Easter Egg? Nah, screw the Project Scotty Easter Egg. The winner's howl is booty, and you'd be better off using your bare hands. But to answer your question, we should probably start camping. I just got to get a good third weapon first. Well, that took forever, but I finally got something good. The Hades, this is going to do a whole lot of damage. Damn, nice pull, Donald. The Hades is seriously goaded. That thing honestly gives the dingo a run for its blood money. Just got to fully pap it now. This is going to take 9,000 years without time slip. Where should we camp on this map? I think the first elevator is probably the best spot. These rounds are going to take forever if we stay spread out like this. Well, you know me. No time slip Trump still out here pack-a-punching, so I'll be a minute. I think it's just so ironic that BO4 was supposed to be the crutch killer game, and yet it seems like Donnie leans even harder on it this game than he did in BO3. Crutch perks are a staple of zombies. It's part of the leveling up experience. Are you going to take the dead silence perk out of multiplayer because everyone uses it? Didn't, didn't they literally do that? I don't know. Multiplayer has been Garbo and Cod for years. Anyways, I finally got my Hades fully upgraded. Let's get out of here, Hussein. Man, I hate it when you call me that. Should we just start calling him John? Hey, John. Absolutely not. Kennedy's probably rolling in his grave right now. Well, most of him, that is. What the? No way. Joe, you did not just say that. Joe, if I was still in office, you'd be in time out for that one. That was too far. Oh, what? So it's okay for Donnie to make a joke about Abe Lincoln having zero game sense. But I can't make a joke about Kennedy getting 720. Why, why, fakey, no scoped? Damn, Joe, chill. How about you just stop talking altogether? Let's just all get to the elevator so we can start passing these rounds. I hope you guys are all good and comfy because this is like a 10-hour ordeal. I went out and bought like 60 of those little five-hour energies the other day. So I don't think I'll be falling asleep after I pop a couple of these bad boys. No, instead you'll be on a stretcher, bound for the ER. Don't drink that shit, Joe. It will kill you. The only thing you guys should be drinking is Trump water. That stuff is good for you. It's got, like, vitamins and minerals. All water has that, dumbass. Stop trying to get people to drink your Trump sludge. There is no way that water is safe. I wouldn't even plumb my toilet with Trump water. Shit would probably corrode through the pipes. Oh, yeah, and after you mysteriously get sick from Trump water, you go and try to get some medical help via Obamacare, and you know what happens? You die. Maybe as presidents, we should just stop naming things after ourselves. It never seems to pan out. I mean... Remember what happened with Reaganomics? Whoa, Reaganomics was legit. They increased military spending, and it was epic. Of course you'd say that. You know what else they increased? Interest rates on loans and bonds, and then the banks started getting cocky, and then the savings and loan crisis happened, and then the housing market crashed. And that happened when you were president, dummy. So no, naming stuff after ourselves is just not the play. No, I still think it has a chance. When I get back in office and finally build my wall, I'm going to stamp Trump right across it. The Trump wall, oh yeah. Geez, that is a supervillain level play. Who are you, Lex Luthor? That would actually be kind of dope. I can see it now. Donald Corp will be mine. Well, I mean, he's already halfway there. He is a billionaire. And of course, he's bald. So remove the toupee and then boom, that's it. Now you just need an arch nemesis. If you keep talking smack about my luscious locks, it's going to be you, homie. Wait, so does this mean my dark brand and dark roast coffee is off the table? Damn, I really thought that was gonna be a hit. Yeah, I'll have the special. The secret is the sugar isn't actually sugar. It's Hunter's special sugar. All right, everyone, we need to focus. Better seriously start speeding up these rounds if we're ever hoping to hit 150. You're right, Barack. I'm about to dial the fuck in. Time to take this game seriously. Oh, crap, guys, I'm out of ammo. This isn't good. We're gonna need a max ammo soon. Don't worry, bros. I packed the perfect elixir for the occasion. I hope you have a lot of those, Donald, because we're gonna be needing a max ammo every couple rounds soon. Oh, yeah, I know Joke have like 12 million nebulium plasma, so even if I run out, I'll just spin for a shit ton more. I don't even know how to compete at this point. Should I just abandon all self-respect and download a mod menu or something? No, don't! You're gonna get banned! Does the anti-cheat on BO4 even still work? I'm pretty sure they abandoned this game long ago. Might have to find out. I kind of want to be level 1000. Sucks not having any attachments for my guns, and I mean, it would be nice to have Perkaholic. Only for BO4, though. That doesn't make me a gobblegum nooblet. So don't even start, Donald. I didn't even say anything. I think this is just you projecting your insecurities about secretly liking crutch tactics on me because you know they're fun. No, no it is not. Whatever, dude, you can stay in the closet all you want, but when you finally decide to come out, I'll accept you. You are so weird, Donnie. 12 o'clock midnight. 
Guys, how the hell are we only on round 38? I knew this was going to take a while, but this is unreal. Hey, man, I'm mowing down the undead as fast as I can. Well, we're going to need to find a way to make this go quicker because it's the middle of the night now. Oh, here it comes. Barack starts going on about how he shouldn't be up so late, and Michelle is going to be pissed. Oh, woe is me. Save it. Everyone just keep grinding. We basically have infinite max ammos. We just need to stay strong. I've got an idea. I'll hack down the horde with my specialist weapon. That'll speed things up. I don't know, Donnie. That's a little ballsy. Don't go down out there. Donald, get back in here. If, if you go down out there, it's all over. Don't throw the run. I got this. I got this. It's insta-kill anyway. It's not like I'm going to go down on an insta-kill. Ah, uh, no. Guys, help. I screwed up. I'm sorry, George. And there it is, of course. Of course, you had to go and screw it up. It's over. Don't worry, George. The run's not over. I got him. I got him. No! Oh, great. Now I'm down, too. Yeah, this is probably GG. Yep, it's over. No round 150. Idiot. Absolute idiot. Why would you go run out with your specialist weapon, Donnie? I was trying to speed up the zombies, damn it. Just wait, I have an idea. Nuh-uh, no way am I watching you stream the cutscene. Wow, Donald, you really think you can make up for ruining the high rounds run with this? I'm getting off. Screw you, man. Yeah, I think I might take a break from playing with you because that had to be intentional. To be honest, I thought it was kind of funny. Plus, I don't want to have to play up to round 150. Yeah, but now George and Joe are pissed at me. I hate to say this, but I might have messed up. True, they didn't sound too happy. Okay, here's what we do. How about I have all of you guys over and we have a sleepover? We can watch some movies, get snacks, maybe then the others will get over it, and we can even play some zombies. That sounds like a great idea, just as long as you don't let Michelle pick out the snacks. Trust me, Donald, it'll be nothing but junk food as far as the eye can see. That sounds like heaven. Well, I sure hope the other two forgive me, but it's probably time for me to get off. Good night, Barry. Night, Donnie. I'll see you in the boys soon.